We're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiasts. C and Joel. Just Joel here with AK Blade. So this week is all about, well, everything. We've got new stuff from Cold Steel, Max Ace, CMB Made Knives, Tops. and Finch. We love it when every brand releases all their new stuff at the exact same time. All right. <laughs> so with minimal flourish, let's talk about the table. First, we got the new versions of the Cold Steel Tie Lights. Regarding the sarcasm, here we go. As you guys know, this knife comes in a few different sizes, as well as blade shapes. We've selected two new from the four inch and six inch line. Yep. So doing the four inches first, they now come in OD green with black blade, as well as a blackout. So this one is five inches closed, nine inches one open, and it's got the four inch black finish OS 8A stainless spear point blade style with flat grind. So open and closed with the flipper here, and you just flip it open. I don't do that with this, but there it is. Handle on this one, as we mentioned, is the OD green. It's a Zyx and black Zyx on the other. Finally, this liner lock has a tip up, hold on, very strong lock up there. Tip up right hand pocket clip and it's just $43.94 from AtlanticKnife.com. Yep. Just heard the ding. ding. Next is a six inch model. Lots and lots. Just making a cool uh, knife cooler. Of, of versions too. So, Ooh. six inch model, 13 inches overall. We'll sit back and marinate on that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Over a six inch black DLC coated OS 8A yeah. stainless spear point blade. Six With inches. black grind. Handle is Zyx. Green on this one. Black on the other. So the main difference is that they are what? OS 8? Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, S35VN. Yep, and they got the tip up pocket clips just like the other one. Mm -hmm. So this model is only 5684 landknife.com. I feel like I should crazy. be like spearing a fish with this thing. Like just spearing a fish. Like throwing it right at them. All yeah. Right. Look at the, they're like mini spears. You can go first. What do you think? Oh, what is there not to think? I love cold steel knives. I love these knives and I love the bigness of them. 56 bucks. Good gosh. That's crazy money. Great. We're going crazy. In, slashing in the, in the world that we live in currently. That is crazy money. I get two. That's great. Well, right. I like the wavy blade style or uh, the less cool, more well-known name, the Chris jump. style. No. Jump. Get it. That's <laughs> great. On the tie lights, uh, I think they just look more boss to me. However, uh -huh. if you're going to use it, I would probably go with the spear point and the four inch model. Just easier to carry and more useful at the man this manageable size. Hmm. Downgrade to OS 8, mm, well, yeah. it's not 100 or $200 dollars anymore. So if you want an easy to carry one, but if you want to look like Samuel Jackson in Pulp Fiction, then you get the 6 inch model. And because it's OS 8, it's like $15 cheaper than the OS 10A. So I really don't think, you know, if you want to go that route, if you want to go with this one, it's not a big, you know, you're not really like losing a lot if you go with the OS 8 versus the OS 10. Right. So get the 6 inch model and the wallet to match. You know what we're talking about. That's great. All right. Next are the new models of Cold Steel SRK and the SRK Compact. First up, the regular SRK. Yes. So it's 10.75 inch overall with a 6 inch black powder coated SK5 carbon steel clip point blade. Flat grind. Yep. No jimping, but you got checkered Crayx handle, mm -hmm. which now comes in desert tan like this one. FDE, which I'm, I'm gonna have to abandon this flat dark earth thing. I'm flat earth, I'm tired of hearing that. And OD green allows for excellent grip in trying conditions. Yep. Also comes with a lanyard hole. Yes, you can tie it and put it around your wrist. Black Securex belt sheath, and it's just, wait for it, $49.84 from LineKnife.com. There's yeah. the ding. Always the ding. Mm -hmm. And of course, the SRK Compact also comes in new options. Fully FDE, greased. tan, and OD green. There you go. So, it's obvious which ones we have. It's still 9.25 inches overall with a 5 inch Black Tough X coated SK5 carbon steel clip point blade. Handle is Cryx2. It also has a lanyard hole for different carry options. And there's also the black secure X belt sheath. 
Look at that. Look at that. And this one's just $39.48 from AtlanticKnife.com. Well, I'm going to go first. I like the original and I like this one. Good size, good steel for what you're going to use it for. It's got a sheath, it's got a lanyard, everything you need. And it's a cool steel for less than 50 bucks. Good size, good steel. Reminds you one of my favorite pray prayers. <laughs> good food, good meat, good God, let's eat. That's great. All right. There's a reason why that's a good prayer because it's short, it sweet, is. and to the point. It covers is. all the basics. You can get the basics. That's okay. All right. I love this knife too. I don't know what's going on with me today. I got to find something I hate. I really like it because... I like the original one. Your mother-in-law. And they're only 39 bucks. I mean, I am going crazy over the prices this week because, I mean, with our inflation, it's a wacky it should be like 194 I mean, you know. Why stop at 194 Belt sheets Three optional. Ten. You got to put in 85 bucks to get it. I mean, I don't Unless know what you to tell want you. the, you know, the other version, the Kydex. It's a good the knife Securex. to use. Whatever you're doing, camping, hunting, sure 39 12. bucks. If you leave it in the mud, you left it in the mud. Yeah, an extra thirty nine dollars to yeah. get on, right? Your license cost you more than that. That's great. And that's going to bring us past the redos of old popular cold steel models for this week and onto the new new stuff. Oh. Starting with the CMB made knives lurker. I know, y'all excited. So there's five different options for this knife. We've got the blackout micarta and a green G ten. So these folders are eight point two six inches overall with a three point three eight inch D two blade. Either the black finish, satin, or sandblast. So this one's the black one, and this green one is the sandblasted. Blade features jimping and is deployed with a jimped flipper stud. Oh, that's we nice. like that. Operates on cage ceramic ball si bearing system. There's also a matching uh, backspacer laner hole and a tip-up right carry pocket clip. Nice. Each liner lock comes with a pouch and a cleaning cloth. And they start at just $47.84 from laylife.com. Ding! There's the oh, 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 it looks like a 70s floor in there. That's great. All right. You should not brown chicken that. brown cow. Start lining the table to half the Hoff's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> we always go with that we one. We ain't used that one in a long time. Okay. You what do you think? Again? Yeah. Well, I don't well, know what's going on. Fear. Would you stop killing the wildlife? Man. We don't need that type of wildlife anymore. Forty-seven and forty-eight bucks, right? Yeah. All right. D two. Yes. Yep. Nice size. Yep. Good. Yep. Okay, we thought do that one because we don't <laughs> like that dude. But I like um, that show. You know, I actually like this like blade. How? It does remind me of something. I can't think about. I can't figure out what it is right now. It's the blade. Nice. I don't know. Um, looks very useful. I haven't tried one. But it fits in my hand nicely, and I like that. It doesn't have any jimping on top. Kind of you know, a little bit, you need but it, a it does have more. a flat space right there. We'll get to one today. It has some nice jimping set up for me. Do that. <coughs> yes, mm. but very smooth action. I like that. Mm-hmm. Forty-seven bucks. Yep. I think it's a good carry. I can see a lot of people picking it up. Yeah, I have to say, CMB is Ooh, making like progress. I do. I like mm -hmm. this one better. I like green, but the Micarta looks good on this. Mm -hmm. CMB's making quite progress with their brand. The Predator made a huge splash. Yep. A few other models have done quite well, so I don't see why this one would be any different. Perfect fit and finish. I like it. Can't beat that. Yep. All right. That leads us to a couple of new Maxace knives. The Zealot and the Samurai 2.0. But first, you know what's coming. You know. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. All so you can be hooked on a feeling of always being home with AK. You also get entered into giveaways. Right now, the Mega Max Prize Pack giveaway is happening on both YouTube and AK's blog. It's composed of the Max Ace Titanium Tongue Tongue Folder. folder, folder. <laughs> Are you echoing it yourself? Yes. Oh, wow. As well as nice. hat and shirt. Very nice. Yep. So make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe on this video or the last one or the next one, and you'll be entered to win. So you can also increase your chances by heading on over to AK's blog and answering the AK trivia question. The link for that is down below. Alrighty then. Let's head on to the whoops. Right off there. Well, Max Ace Zella 2.0. All right. Go ahead, see. Yep, I'm on it. So this folder comes in three options. Black, black, blue, and brown. Since mm -hmm. I can't talk. We have the brown one. 
So it's 9.05 inch overall with a 3.85 inch Bowler K110 blade. Interesting. Yep. Stone wash finish. A hint of jimping. Hint. Blade is open with a jimped flipper stud. Hold on. We like that part. There, there you go. go. Handle on this liner lock has CNC G10 scales with titanium coated lighters. Look at the liners. Wow, well, you know what? Something that I always, I never told anybody. Mm. If I had liners, they'd be titanium I'd coated. I'd want them titanium coated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Full back spacer and tip up pocket. Clip. Complete the ensemble. So you can bag you a Max A Still at 2.0 for just $77.84 from mm -hmm. landknife.com. There it is. I like this. The detent is a little stronger than I'd want, but the look is really nice. And I love the pocket clip, how they cut out a, like a very specific shape for it and built it in. I like the little details. Puts some companies over others. So It does make it non-reversible, though. That, that is true, but I'm going to allow This blows it. for the left-handers. Because look at it. Look at that. It's nice styling. They, they, I would agree. They did a little divot in there, and they didn't even cheap out with just I'll doing a what, square. Max Ace has upped their game more quickly than most new companies. Their boxes have made strides and changes. Significant changes. Which I don't really care about. I don't mind the plain old white I, C&B box. I like or the, the new white one that they yeah. did. I don't think that you need to be fancy on the box. because You do. You know. Okay, with her you do. Yep. But uh, they, they've done the extras. I'm not even sure what this styling piece is down here on the liners, but it is nice that they actually did Little something. Little detailing instead of just leaving it? With the liner. Yeah, I don't. I can't quite recall if I've ever We're seen somebody done. use the liner as, I mean, like frame locks. Like a piece locks. of the knife. Yeah, and it's also got a couple of lines in it, but it's nice. I like this part on the back. It matches up with the sides. Um, it's good size, too. They're not doing the six inch knife or the five and a half inch knife that's or the true. here is a d2 that's 5.75 you know and it's yeah. like okay i can get my fingers on it this one's nice i like the blade shape yeah i have one of these too makes me a zealot doesn't it it, it does oh, okay go ahead so next max a samurai 2.0 2.0 oh 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 this is like a redo of tom cruise <laughs> Few options for this one as well. It's gonna be way Black, for brown, that. and white. It would need to be five foot. Yeah. We've got the white. Wait, with built-in like lips. lips. That's yeah. what they call it. Yeah. So the Samurai 2.0 is 8.66 inches overall with a 3.54 inch bowler K110 satin finish blade that is opened with the dual sided thumb studs. Ah. Handle material for the black and white versions RG10, while the brown one. See, he's excited too, because it's Micarta. I know. So the finish of the pivot cap, pocket clip, backspacer, and thumb studs defer based on the model. This one has the blue, <laughs> while the black has gold and the brown has silver. Finally, this liner lock has a tip-up pocket clip and lanyard hole. Wow. Go they ahead. come a better samurai than ever before with the Max Ace Samurai 2.0. Oh. For only $79.84 from AtlanticKnife.com. Yeah. Good save for the camera girl, wasn't Good it? first. All right. Save. First thing I, when I saw this one was I thought, you know, this kind of reminds me of that CRKT that I have. Mm. But it, it doesn't have the scimitar. I was thinking the Goliath thawing. in white. I have the Goliath also. We know, and white. In this one. You just like the white ones, But I got to tell you. you I, I did like this one a lot until I realized it was only for thumb stud opening. Yeah. I was a little disappointed. I'm glad it wasn't a front flipper. But once again, mm -hmm. it's almost like they used my hand to, to, to make, make this. It. Yeah, I mean, the offset of the finger. What's the hand this size? Little, my right. middle finger fits right in there. My, t I mean, you know, I'm just a regular size person, so... Hey, okay. You know just say a I'm regular not? sized person. Oh no, just goodness. people don't usually go say stuff like that. I'm just a regular sized person. Cam, I'm a, oh, I can't say that because don't. that's inappropriate. That's great. Um, okay, I'm going to go on. <laughs> I like the color scheme of this one better than this one. But I'd like to have the flipper stud and the grooving of the handles on this one. Oh, you saw the grooving part? Yes. Not just that part. Because I do the, I do like that it's indented there, but I would like these little things there. Just to give a little extra grip. You notice that the 
thumb stud matched the, the pivot cap. Yes, I that made that. Nice I have made sure that they knew about that. Um, so I do think that both of these knives are great quality, and they got that extra touch, you know, that sets them apart from other $80 knives, because you know there's lots of CRKT that <laughs> could, could be better. Um, on the whole, I wouldn't get any of these personally, but they some nice knives. I like them. All right, so... They don't really seem like you, do they? No, they're not really me. That's okay, huh? Yep, yeah, they're not all going to be me, you know? Okay, so our next carry on the table is hailing from somewhere a little closer to home. Idaho. Idaho. Not Iowa. It's Idaho. Idaho. Yeah, to be exact. And that's the new Topps Sheep Creek. Yep, so handmade right here in the USA. The Topps Sheep Creek has only one option right now. That's all it needs. Does it? Mm-hmm. You sure? Yep. Okay. It's 8.13 inches overall with a 3.75 inch 154 cm cryo treated sheep's foot worn cliff. Yeah, that's a little bit of that. That's about 0 0.19 inches thick. Also sports some jimping multiple places. Flat grind and it's got the rough terrain finish. Handless green and tan canvas micarta with lanyard hole for additional carry options. Mm -hmm. Sheath is OD green kydex with belt with beta loop. I always mix that up. And the whistle. Whistle! Whistle's back. Yeah. Lastly, the small EDC fixed blade, which I differ. I don't think it's small. Designed by Topps fifth employee, contest winner, Dylan Waters. Weighs 9.9 .9 ounce with the sheath, 7.1 without. Inspired by fond memories of camping and fishing with friends and family, this top yes. sheep creek can only improve your future camping adventures. Mm -hmm. Get you one for one. Sixty nine eighty four from knife.com finish look i think it's small for tops mm. most of their knives are pretty big oh you don't want to say when, small? They, when they got a couple of like the tops poker they got a couple but those were like neck knives mm -hmm. this is not a neck knife okay i have to say this tops knife is amazing okay sure it's not you know compact and slim like my favorite the rapid strike but it's definitely heavy duty enough you can do any type of outdoor camping, bushcraft task done. You can even use it for food prep if you wanted to. I do see that Trops is trying to like break into the, the in crowd with the 154 cm steel instead of high carbon steel like they usually do 1095 or 1075. Mm. I don't know how that's going to work for them. Only time will really tell. Other than that, I like it. What do you think? What do I think? I love this knife. You love it. Oh my gosh, for the minute I saw it. You know what it was? It was this right here right because there. now it can be used yep. like this. I get the hunting and camping and fishing because if you want to gut you a trout, oh, you're gonna get you're, a trout. Oh with that. yes, no doubt. And look, I might end up using this Not thing like, a group. like I do a uh, chef's knife. I hold the blade more than the knife, oh, more than the handle. Okay. Um, I also liked that you could work it from back here, and like this. See, I was into this. That's great. I catch myself using knives like this all the time. And then there's no jimping. So right here is my jimping. Got jimping. I love this thing. I don't really care what it looks like. It's good. It does have that nice, um, what was that other ones they did with uh, the Viking tactics? Oh, okay. Where they had that. Uh, like the red brown in the yeah, middle? Yeah, the Patriots and the oh. other ones. They had a nice color under here oh, you're offsetting the, the name. green okay. canvas. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of it. Oh, okay. Thick. Very thick. I mm -hmm. like that part too. So this one, I don't know. It might be my top pick this week. Alrighty. Our next blade mm -hmm. is the Cansep Entity. Entity. There are six different options. I can't count them on one hand. It's not surprising. <laughs> so there are three different color options. Gray titanium, bead blasted titanium, and dark gray titanium. Yep. Then from there you can choose a regular clip point blade or with a spine cut out for your finger. Yep. So the run of the mill version is 8.13 inch overall with a 3.5 inch CPM S35 VN clip point blade, plain edge, flat grind, and yep. jimping. Comes in either black carbide or stone wash finish. Handles as we mentioned come in dark gray, gray, bead blasted titanium. There are also two Damascus options. Wow. Yes. Blades are deployed with gent flipper studs. Lastly, these frame locks have tip up titanium pocket clips and come with pouch yes. and cleaning cloth. Got to add that in there. Yes. See the entity for yourself. Starting at 183 from AtlanticKnife.com. <sighs> 
these frame locks. Let the drooling begin. I'm gonna go first. So these knives are awesome, okay? I, got, I love the like the radical metal options. I love the cutout for the finger. I think the handle design is cool. It's a little more, it's a little more decorative. It's a little more decorative than I feel most men would actually like, but it's something different and it grants you a little bit of grip. So I like it, so you should just deal with it. Lastly, the flipper stud is huge. It's jimped, it's easy to flip. It's got high-end materials for a decent price. A++++ plus 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 all the way. Boom. You have the mic now. Did you just drop the mic? All I right. dropped you a mic over there. I gotta tell you. <laughs> I like this one too. Whoops. I was, oh, hold on. Let me see that one Did quick. you see that? I watched. That was, that was a put in a... I wanted to make sure a... they were both the same. I thought the boxes were a little off. But they're, they're identical. 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 All right. Yeah, okay, I'll give me this one back. No. <laughs> give me the one with the The Damascus stone. one? Oh, my gosh. It's very nice. Now, I'm not as fond of the handle, and I think they didn't do as well as I could on the pivot. But this blade. This Wow, blade. it has a gigantic belly. A nice, nice spine. I love this thing, too. No. Yes. No. I don't know. No. Frame lock. No. I, it'll be difficult for me to decide It's like today. you freaking brought Toby back. Camber Why did girl, you bring Toby back? Camber girl is just... Uh, Having some time with Wendy's. She day. is. <laughs> because it's worth a little note, Wendy, tomorrow. I'm not sure who made this. It's got their name on it. I wish I had looked it up. Oh, you didn't? No, it's like Nabby. Oh, who it was designed by? Yeah, it's got his signature or her signature on it. I don't it, know. So. But they did a nice job. Got a nice signature, designing. too. Yes, All right, it is. Move us on. Some of us gotta have dinner before it's time to go to sleep. Okay. That's great. So we're hitting the new Finch model, 1929, which new, new version. Yep, Finch is back, and he didn't bring Stifler's mom. And they're bringing three new versions of an old favorite. Now available in Voodoo, Copper Tone, and Olive Wood. You know what, even this knife is terrible. They have great names. They do. So this guy is 6 inch overall with a 2.5 inch satin finish 154 cm steel blade with no jimping, but it is deployed with a jimped flipper stud. Yep. How's that panda girl? That's perfect. All right. Handles on these liner locks also sport titanium tip up satin finish pocket clips and come with box and I'm just going to show you this sticker because this is the, you know how they do the specialty stickers for each model. So. Mm -hmm. So the handle on the Voodoo is white bone. Handle on the Copper Tone is carbon fiber and copper. And handle on the Olive Wood is, it's Olive Wood, yeah. <laughs> There's also the glow in the dark shield of Finch's logo. There you go. So the model 1929 can head its way over to your neck of the woods for just 145 from AtlanticKnife.com. Well, the two uh, other ones are 135 each. Oh, they are? Yeah, only the, I forgot which one. I think it's this Copper. one, 145, the other is 135. Oh, All okay. right, so once again, I like these knives no. um, for a gentleman's carry. Mm -hmm. Nice little pocket knife. I mean, I'm not really a, you know, throw a pocket knife in my pocket yeah, but and this let is it move nice. around. This is nice, but yeah. yeah, very nice, 154 CM. Finch does a good job with everything they do. Their um, blades are always, clean immaculately clean um the like conception yeah i mean the clip's a little um plain on this one but there's not really a lot you could do with it i guess since it's such a small narrow simple. space i think that's kind of his thing is it, it, it is simple but i think it's a very good design and uh they match up well when it comes to the bolsters so that's mm -hmm. something that you normally well at this level you expect yeah so, so i love them i like the new options especially the copper tone one of course, that's not a super new idea. QSP has done it, but Finch made it their own with a little bit of flair with the the little logo that glows. I love that. Mm -hmm. I always like Finch. They're always clean, well-made, and they always serve their purpose without fail. There so. it is. And we're wrapping up the show with the final knife. The Cold Steel Trapper and Mini Trapper. Same knife, just different sizes. Yep. We'll do the smallest first. So the Mini Trapper is three and a half inch closed. About 6.2 fully mm -hmm. opened. Clip point blade is 2.7 inch. The spay is 2.6. Yeah. Both are made of stainless HCR 13 MOV steel. And they're open with a nail nick. 
Handle is brown jig bone and feature nickel silver bolsters. And you can get you a mini trapper for $24.99 from AtlantaKnife.com. That's crazy money. If I'm going to cut myself, it's going to be on these. Because mm -hmm. I'm going sideways here. You know what? Those are the things I always get cut on too. Yep. Pocket so, knives. we're on to the regular. Hold on. Should open it all the way. No, I'm just going to do it. Let it snap on you. I'm going to keep it like this. Okay, so it is 4.125 inches closed and 7.425 inches when fully opened. Nice. Both the spay and the clip point blades are 8CR 13MOV and are 3.5, 3.5, 3.3 inches, sorry. Open with nail nick. This trapper also features a jigged bone handle and nickel silver bolsters. You can get it at AK for $30.84. So, everyone should know how I feel about traditional slip joint pocket knives. Mm -hmm. Just not my thing. But it's nice for the price. So if you like them and you and like you cold steel. you were holding that over there, it reminded me of a uh, cutlery corner. <laughs> I could see the little light coming off the knife. Like, is this trapper here? Is a quad. You know, he does inspire me when I, when I... I love him. I'm like, here it is. All right, so here we go. I'll talk about it then since you don't want to. All right. For the money. Two pocket for the knives. Show. I mean, if you're a cold steel guy, you got to get these. Why wouldn't you? I mean, you can't even buy some of the lower end stuff now for $24. That's I mean, true. That's true. So this is nice, well made. They're, they're centered um, for a pocket knife. I pick one up, send it to my granddad, send it to my dad. Why not? Okay. Well, that does end this week's video. No. Yeah. I I'm think, having so I much fun. I think we did enough knives, though. I like them all. That's true. That's, all right. That's true. We, Go we ahead. did. Look the side of this one. Yeah, but other than that. Okay, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, as well as ring that notification bell. So you can be entered to win the Mega Max Prize Pack giveaway. You gotta be entered to win that. Yeah, you can also enter on AK's blog by answering the AK trivia question. Link mm -hmm. is down below. You can get a nice knife, just like, uh, what's his name last week? Lapel Bay. Yeah, and We're Hines. also... Oh, what? Tom Hines. I don't remember that. <laughs> I just remember Lapel Was Bay. It Tom? I don't think it was Tom. Tom. Something We're also Tony. on social media. Tony, Tony. Tony Hines. Social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, and Rumble. Okay. We knife and gear it up on those uh, all the time. So check it out. Also, we're podcasting. Any time of Send day. a verb. Oh, it is now. Just, yeah, Cindy Lopper. You know her son got arrested. Okay. It is up on Spotify. Go and listen to the best podcast out there. We guarantee if you like us, you'll like the podcast. God, can Cindy Lopper's son just not catch a break? <laughs> I can catch a case. <laughs> Great. Oh. Cash me outside. That's it. Okay, favorite knife this week. I'll go first. The Cancept Entity. You know why she did that? So you wouldn't take it. I was going the top. Stops Sheep Creek. Sheep Creek really? all the way, really? baby. All the way. It was going to be the Finch, the but then this one rolled up. And I was well, like, I had oh. done Finch before. I think that was my favorite when I... Uh, when we did the original? A year or two ago, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And I can't do these because I'm not really mm -hmm. brand new. They are, but look at this. Look, you know. look at the area of hey, my finger. Stop trying to overshadow my knife. But look at this one. This one's nicer. Sheep Creek. Entity. You're up Sheep Creek, and you don't have a knife. And I'm an entity. You can't touch me. You're an entity. So you're like an offshore okay. company in the Bahamas that no, nobody even knows exists. No, I was exists? thinking like an entity. An entity. You're like like a great alien. You saying you're omnipotent? <laughs> you Omniscient. <lost> <laughs> Omniscient. Oh, oh, I think I got omnipotent around that one too. You yeah. sure? You know what? Check us down below. Check us down below. Which one is it? Omniscient or omnipotent? Is that omnipotent. what you're doing? Omnipotent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No. Oh, all right. You should trust me on this one. Of course. Oh, you know what? C's always right. Remember that, folks. As always. I don't even need to say it. You already know. I'm Corrosion. <laughs> That's. Never mind. C, C from the Bronx Tale, his name is uh, Cordula. I can't even say it. That's great. I'm C and this is Joel. Just Joel. And we are. I don't even have one. Come on, man. Signing <laughs> off. you just break? I don't know. God, see? I have to redo this a third I didn't time. Do it. Handle on the copper tone is <laughs> carbon fiber and copper. And the handle 
<laughs> on the olive wood is guess what people olive wood i know there's also the glow hey, in the dark shield of finch logo there's Hold a on. cat on the table don't tell the people we let that roll all right wendy can you teach your cats some new tricks hey this will be in the uh what do you call it i don't know why the boss lets her keep her cat hold yet. on a second Hold that paw oh. still. Because we're harder than the making of this show. This is a dummy, actually. Wendy, this is not your kid. This is a, a you fake You see kid. where I nicked my knife on his ear a couple times there, right? Oh, yeah. I bet yeah. you did. Make so, yourself comfortable. Are we going to get him off the table? Nope. I don't know. You can't see him. You can't? You can see his ear for like a second. He's didn't walked off through the, the picture. His butt was up in it. I don't act like you can't see him. <laughs> you can't see him now. Yeah, uh huh. Guess what? You really can't see him. <laughs> Signing off! I don't know who that is. <laughs>